Yes. Yeah. Man, if you don't get off my phone with this bullshit. Why? Man, some people are so clean. Hey, what that shit do? You trying to make some cheese? My boy Gerald G, he looking for somebody low-key right now. And to be 1,000 with you, I'm thinking you. Look, it's a big exchange of merchandise going down. The Vagos and the Ball Eaters and squash their little uh, cultural differences or what the fuck ever. Anyway, why don't you slide down there and see if you can shake up the free market economy a little bit and uh, get that cheese. Hey, I'm gonna text you the boy G address. Don't even trip, he's straight, that's my dog. You know we got you. What's going on guys, it's Manny King here, and welcome to another Grand Theft Auto Online video. This is gonna be the tutorial part two. I showed part one last week, and this is pretty much the rest of the tutorial. I won't need to show you guys any more. Uh, I did edit this video like crazy. There's certain parts in this video where there's gonna be no sound, and that's due to the fact that there's music playing in the background, and I really don't wanna get copyrighted. So I pretty much mute the video on parts where I might be listening to the radio, or maybe there's music in the background. And also I just edited out really the parts of the video where you guys really didn't need to see like I'm just driving around recklessly because I really didn't know what to do this was my first time playing the tutorial I've I've played the tutorial probably three to four times and that's due to the fact that uh, I've had my character deleted maybe once or twice and then the other time I did it with a temporary character but uh, I really hope it's the last time that I play I kind of wish that you didn't have to go through the tutorial every single time that you make a character but uh, the tutorial is a little bit tedious. I feel like it's pretty annoying, but I guess it helps players uh, that might not have played the single player because I have some friends that bought this game just yesterday, really. And uh, I guess the tutorial would help for just the basic controls. I'm right here. As you can tell, it was my first time playing the tutorial. I had no idea I was supposed to kill these people. Uh, I just walked in there. I was like, okay, it's nice to get the drugs. Where are they? And I had no idea I was supposed to kill these people. So I almost got myself killed in the tutorial and I end up doing pretty bad in this tutorial so part one it was the race i ended up losing the race and in part two of the tutorial you end up having to do this team deathmatch but it's it's kind of like a weird team deathmatch it's more like a search and destroy you only have one life so if you die uh you're out for the rest of the game so it was basically a one-on-one -on -one. uh that's all i was able to find it was me and one other person and i had no idea what i was doing and basically got myself killed that's gonna be at the end of the video but this tutorial like i said it's kind of long it's kind of tedious uh really wish i didn't have to do it uh every single time you made a character i really hope they patch that in because it, it really is just repetitive it's it's a bit annoying but uh, okay, so first you gotta get the drugs, so you gotta do that. I think after you get the drugs, you go to a clothing store. And I think after the clothing store, you go rob a store. And then I think after you rob the store, you get a car that you want for free, which I basically chose this charger that I'm driving in now, but it's just gonna be a different color. And then after that is the team deathmatch. But uh, there we go, I killed that guy with the drugs pick up the drugs and you're supposed to go drop it off at Gerald who will be giving you some missions in the GTA Online which I really haven't done many missions from him um, I don't know if there's a good mission by him I do know that there's a lot of good guides out there for uh, easy leveling up and easy money uh, at this point in time that I'm doing this commentary I actually already bought the most expensive house on the online which was $400,000 uh, it was a it was a hell of a grind. We just kept doing a lot of races. We kept doing several missions, and eventually you will get up there. It's actually kind of easy to get money um, for me, anyways, and it is pretty easy to level up. But right here, there's gonna be cutscene, so I'll be quiet. What's up, dog? How you doing? Well, goddamn you, anti-social motherfucker! You gonna speak? Hey, see. I told you, y'all gonna get along great. Y'all can get to take this shit on the road. How your little ventriloquist act going on? Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Give him the dough. Yeah. All right, here. It's right. Don't bother counting me. You got anything else interesting? Bring it my way. <laughs> yeah. What I tell you? What I tell you, motherfucker? We like you. And now you got you some bread, what you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear, because you bummy as fuck. You can't be walking around with me looking like that. You need to better representate yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, G, don't get lost, fool. Come on, man, tear that shit off, man. 
I need my commission, G. You hear me, dog? I need my commission, nigga. You about a stingy motherfucker, man. And there we go. So I ended up ranking up. I think everyone at the end of the tutorial is either level 4 or level 3. But uh, yeah, Lamar is probably one of my favorite characters in any GTA. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, but throughout the single player and even on the online, he's pretty hilarious. And so now I got to go to the clothing store. Not really going to show you guys all that. It's basically only going to show you guys the finished product. Because uh, I pretty much spent, I think, most of my time in this clothing store looking at every single option. And if I would have done that, it would have been way too long. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much the finished product. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be dressed in those clothes for a good number of videos. I have so many videos in my hard drive that I'm ready to release. I'm so glad that I'm done with the tutorial. But I'm going to have just a whole bunch of videos coming out soon. And they're going to be really crazy. And here's another crazy edit. Uh, but now it's time to go to the store. And right after the store, I'm going to rob the place. And I think it's pretty cool that uh, they added the mechanic. If you yell into your mic or if you just basically talk to your mic uh, to, the, to the clerk, basically. Uh, it makes them hurry up. Or you could shoot bottles around them if he has bottles. Or if it's the store from like sandy shores or something you could shoot the glass and it makes them hurry up faster i think it's pretty cool that you're able to intimidate the guy to go faster and uh since it was a tutorial i probably didn't know this but uh if you end up killing the guy um it ends up giving you three stars and that's what i end up doing i don't know what exactly i was thinking of but for some reason i was just like you know what i don't trust this guy so i'm gonna shoot him but uh, at the point of this tutorial, I didn't have my headset on since I wasn't talking to any friends. So he was going pretty slow. And I didn't know if you shoot the bottles behind him or if you shoot anything in the store behind him. Uh, it'll go pretty fast. But uh, right there, I think I did put on my headset because I read the tip that if you yell through your speak or through your headset, it actually goes faster. And there we go. I ended up shooting him. Don't know why I did it, but uh, it ended up giving me three stars. I'm pretty sure I only had two. But there we go. A really quick edit. Ran away from the cops. It took forever for me. Uh, I think it probably took around five to six minutes, I would say. That's probably a good estimate of how long it took me. But uh, right here, this is where we're going to snap right to the finished product. There we go. It's basically the same car, just a different color. And I added the tracker that you need to have on every single one of your cars if you want to keep them. And I think insurance, if it ends up getting destroyed, I think every single car that you want to keep will have insurance. But I'm not sure if you're able to have multiple cars with insurance. Uh, I probably will test that today. But here we go. Here's the last team standing that I was talking about earlier. It's basically a team deathmatch if you had more people. But it's basically a one-on-one -on -one deathmatch with just one life. And I had no idea. I really didn't. I wasn't reading the tips. The tips were way too long. I just wanted to finish the tutorial and uh, basically play some with, play with some friends. That's all I wanted to do. So I was running to this red dot. Wasn't sure what kind of red dot this was. Um, I really didn't know what to expect. So I'm just running around and I don't know what I was doing there. Um, but my main thought was, let's go for this body armor. But I think I ended up losing some... Yeah, I was starting to lose some health because I didn't have that great of a stamina. So I was like, huh, this red dot's nearby. I wonder if I'm able to kill him. So I was walking that way, walking that way. And I noticed that he's down that alleyway. I'm like, okay, where is he? I don't see him. Let me, ha let me see. Can I see? Nope, can't see him. Alright, let me see if I can see him. Don't see him still. Alright, let me cross the street real quick. Let me see if I'm able to see him if I'm closer. Starting to lose some health because of the stamina. Get to the wall. Still don't see him. Like, huh. Okay, I don't see him. Let me move to the other side of the wall. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, yeah. So, this is Manning King. The video's already going to come to an end. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.